Greetings, this is Eduardo Jumbo. In this tutorial, JavaScript will be used to create a screen capture record. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. JavaScript makes it easy to use the screen capture API. You can use the built-in display media method to capture a screen. That was the last tutorial. And in this tutorial, we'll use the media recorder to record a stream. So the stream can be recorded via media recorder as a blob in chunks. The reason you want to use chunks is this way you don't run out of memory. You just use the chunks, then you, in the next tutorial, we'll also be able to download. Ojumboshop.com learning JavaScript course web ID can be used for this tutorial. It also inspired this tutorial. JavaScript runs in a web browser for client-side interactive or automated web application. In this particular example, you can use this for your web applications. Uh, because it's very interactive. I'll explain that in a second when we actually start the code. You can also use it for server-side embedded platforms. It's a good example of something you can embed, uh, which allows JavaScript application to run outside a web browser. So as you can see here, last time we learned about the get display media method. In this tutorial, we're going to use the media recorder uh, this is to record the chunks. The chunks will be in a blob. A blob is essentially just a large uh, binary object. And as you can see here, I do have the code snippets for the HTML and then the JavaScript the code snippet is also here. As you can see, it's a screenshot. It's a little bit small this time because I wanted to fit all the code instead of having multiple screenshots. So here's one for you. And then this is what the output will look like. Uh, what will happen is we'll create uh, a record button and this is the preview from the previous tutorial. Uh, but when you click stop, what will happen is it will fill this one here so you can play back and forth uh, the content that you have recorded. Now, in the next tutorial, you will also be able to download it as well. In this particular case, it's just going to be uh, a preview. But once you click stop, then it will just put the output onto here so you can preview it. This is very important for... Some things if, you, if you're recording and you just want to see something before you download it. Maybe you don't like it, then you can record again. It will overwrite this one, and then you can download it. So that's the next tutorial. So uh, this is the video you're watching right now. So let's begin the tutorial. I'm going to use NetBeans IDE. So I have up here the NetBeans ID. I've zoomed in a little bit. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, if you, if you, if you didn't follow along from the last tutorial, that's okay, 